Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here and today I'm back for episode number 51 of my Atlanta Braves franchise here on MLB 15 The Show. Today we're back with game 4 of the 2019 NLDS. We've got a 2-1 series lead heading into game 4, but the Cubs have their backs against the wall. They won in walk-off fashion in game 3 to keep their season alive and they will look to do the same here in game number 4 and try to send the series to a game number 5 back in Atlanta. You saw your pitching matchup there, but we'll get another look at it in just a moment. Here is the Braves starting lineup. No changes from the last game except we swapped Jose Peraza and D Gordon in the lineup because it's going to be a lefty on the mound Dylan Overton for the Chicago Cubs he was picked up at the deadline from the Oakland A's for Javier Baez and he's going to get things started with a 1-2-3 first inning so he was off to a pretty good start take a look at the Cubs lineup I don't believe there were any changes from a game number three and the Braves starting pitcher will be Mike Fultinavich the man who I believe was a starter in all three closeout games from our playoff round last year so a good sign of things to come possibly here tonight as he will look to uh, close out yet another series. He's going to strike out Arizmendi Alcantara there. First K of the evening. Next batter up would be Starlin Castro. 2-2 count. And it's going to be strike three swinging on the knuckle curveball. So Fultinavich gets his night started with back-to-back -back Ks. Now top two. It's Benito Rodriguez. 1-2 count. He's going to go down. Try to check his swing there, but it was a call. Strike three anyway. So it's Dylan Overton's first K of the day. Now it's Cole Calhoun up next. Change up inside. Can't check his swing. It is going to say he went around. A strikeout number two for Overton. And then the next batter is Blake Swihart. 2-2 two -two count. Overton looking to strike out the side. And he does just that. This time on the change up. And it is a 1-2-3 ending. Six up, six down so far for Dylan Overton. He is cruising as we are through an inning and a half now. It's bottom two. Pedro Alvarez up 1-2 count. Alvarez is going to hit this one back up the middle for a base hit. And that's going to get into the gap there with the defense defensive shift in, both in the outfield and the infield uh, sort of open up a gap there for that ball to get through and Alvarez is going to get extra bases out of it because of that so next batter is Kyle Schwarber up full count Schwarber slow rolling down the first baseline stab by Freeman can't quite pick it up the toss to first is going to be late and everyone's going to be safe so it'll be first and third now with no one out for Kyle Waldorf and he's going to go down on the changeup a huge strikeout for Fultinavich now one down in the inning it'll be Addison Russell up next 2-2 two -two count this one's going to get away from the catcher Swihart here here comes the runner, and Alvarez scores the first run of the evening. It's one to nothing Cubs on the wild pitch. The run does come home for the Cubs. So now still in the same at bat. It's Addison Russell up, and Schwarber is trying to steal third here. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if that was a missed hit and run sign or something, but Schwarber's gunned out by a mile. And then later in the inning, it is Drew Stubbs up 3-2 count. And he goes down on the changeup. So Fultinavich picks up another strikeout. And we are through two now. It's one to nothing Cubs. Here's D Gordon up with an out. In, or one man down in the third. He's going to get a base hit back up the middle. And so one of the fastest men in baseball has a reach. That is a dangerous sign for the Cubs. But it's going to be the pitcher up next. Gordon taking his lead off of first. He's heading for second. The throwdown is not in time. So Gordon successfully makes his way into scoring position. Now he's on second, still with just one out. The next pitch, he's going for third. Fulton, which takes strike two, but Gordon's in there taking advantage of Kyle Schwarber being behind the plate, not the best defensive catcher. And then Fulton, which is going to put this one in play. Gordon quick enough to come home, and that is a little bit of small ball right there to tie up the game at one. I knew that Fulton, which was up after Gordon, and the only way Gordon was really going to score is if I sort of put him in motion a couple times, and I had to do just that. But here's Dylan Overton for the Cubs up, helping himself out here. He's going to lead off things in. In the third with a base hit of his own. Now two batters later, Starling Castro up. He's going to rip one towards left center field. This ball's back at the track. It'll get down and one up, up off the Ivy. Played by Calhoun on the bounce. Still fired in quickly, but both runners will uh, move up two bases. So it'll be second and third now with just one man out. Here is Chris Bryant up next. 1-1 one, one count. Bryant grounded to first. Freeman's coming home with it. The throw is in time and Overton is gunned out at home. So a huge play from Freddie Freeman now. Two down to the inning. Alvarez up next 1-1 one, one count Alvarez base it into right field and it's gonna get by Soler a misplay by Jorge Soler it'll go all the way to the wall here comes another run two runs are gonna score in the play and it'll be a two RBI triple for Pedro Alvarez and that will give the Cubs the lead once again as they take a three to one lead now in the bottom of the third two down for Schwarber he's gonna ground this one to the second baseman Peraza there throw to first in time and we are through three now it is a 3-1 ball game Chicago out in front but a man on for Freddie Freeman here he's off and Freeman slow roller this is going to be fielded by Alvarez can't make the tackle flip the first but McCutcheon's on his way to third and he's in there so some more aggressive base running from the Braves McCutcheon gets the 
third with just one out. A good run scoring opportunity. It's Benito Rodriguez up now. One-two count. He's going to hit one high and deep to left field. This one's got a chance. If it's fair, it's very gone, but it is foul. So Rodriguez will come back to the plate now. Another one-two, and he's going to pop this one up. Just to the right of the pitcher's mound, Alvarez is going to get under this one, and he will squeeze the glove and make the play for the second out of the inning now. Next batter will be Cole Calhoun, the 2-2 count. Calhoun drives one, deep center field, this ball's back at the track, at the wall, and gone! Cole Calhoun has tied the game with a two-run home run, and it is a 3-3 game. We are knotted up once again as Calhoun has tied it, hitting a home run off a lefty right there. And we are back at three. So here we go now. Bottom four. It's Addison Russell. And he'll go down to the knuckle curve. That will be another strikeout for Fulte Navich. He had the strikeout pitch working all night long. Now Drew Stubbs up later in the inning. One-two count. He goes down. His second K in the night. 99 on the fastball right there for the former Houston Astros pitching prospect. And then here we go. Two-two count to D. Gordon. He's going to go down to Overton. Starting to settle in himself right now as he picks up a strikeout. But bottom five, it's Overton back at the dish. One, two count. And Fulton Avich gets the best of him. Leaves that changeup up, but it did not matter. The change of speeds between the fastball and the changeup was too much for Overton to read. And then Castro goes down on the knuckle curve. Another strikeout for Fulton Avich. Top six for McCutcheon. It's 2-1 count. He's going to drive one deep left center field. This one on a line, and it's out of here. Andrew McCutcheon with a solo home run, and the Braves have the lead. Their first one of the ball game. 4-3 is the score. Andrew McCutcheon trying to get his boys to the NLCS. Gets the go-ahead homer. Take a look at the replay. An absolute shot, and Overton was not pleased with that one. He would be done. His night is over as he will be pulled from the game. Neil Ramirez comes on now. For the Chicago Cubs, the first man he's going to face will be Freddie Freeman. And then here we go. It's a 2-1 count to Freeman. He's going to go the other way. And that's going to get down. That'll go all the way to the wall into the gap there. Freeman's turning around first, heading for two. And he's got extra bases as he will stroll into second base with a double. Now the next batter is Cole Calhoun. Actually, two batters later with first and third. He's going to fly one into right, shallow right. Actually, the center fielder is going to play this one. Freeman on third. He's looking to tag. Here comes the runner. The throw to the plate is going to be not in time. And then both runners advance on the place. So we get a man on second now for Jorge Soler with the 0-2 count. He's going to go down on the change up in the dirt. Throw to first in time, and we are through five and a half now. On to the bottom half of the sixth. It's Kyle Schwarber up 1-1 one, one count. He's going to hit a towering fly ball. Deep center field. Deep right field, excuse me. I had no idea where that ball was going. But that ball is gone, and Kyle Schwarber has tied up the game. We are knotted up once again. This time it fired the long ball. Continues to be a problem for Fulte Navich, and that is going to make it a 5-5 five five ball game here. As you can take a look at the reaction from uh, Mike, he was not pleased serving up that long ball as we are knotted up once again. So we are going to be done with the first six innings of the night here. Take a look at the recap. Fulton Avich is done, or his night will be done as well. Six strong, eight innings, but five earned runs. So Matt Weiser, we would bring in a two pitch now for the bottom half of the eighth. It's a 3-2 count to, call, or, uh, to Chris Bryant. He's going to go down, and that would be his first strikeout. So he went four up, four down. Then we're going to call upon the lefty Jake McGee to come in and face the uh, pair of lefties in the Chicago lineup. Alvarez, who he served up the home run to in game number three, and Kyle Schwarber. And Schwarber's going to hit one down the left field line. That will be a base hit, so two men on with one man out here. McGee's got himself a jam to work out of. Chris Johnson at the dish, the former Brave 2-2 count. He goes down on the two-seamer and then two batters later with the bases loaded it's Drew Stubbs runners on the move strike three swinging on the two-seamer McGee a pair of case to get himself out of the jam we are headed to the ninth now Ruby De La Rosa will come on and pitch for the Cubs and with one man down a 2-2 count to D Gordon he's going to strike him out on the changeup so De La Rosa would get through a 1-2-3 ninth as would Lucas Sims so we're going to skip ahead now bottom of the 10th Sims still on for his second inning of work it's Brian at the dish 1-1 one, one count he hits a towering fly ball Ball deep right field. This one's back, and it's going to get over the head of Jorge Soler. That'll get down. He'll play it off the wall, but Bryant's going to cruise into second base. He's got himself a leadoff double, and the winning run is now just 120 feet away. So what will the Cubs be able to do with it? It's Schwarber up now with two men on. One, two, count. Strike three, swinging on the changeup. A big strikeout for Lucas Sims. One down. Now it's Miguel Montero pinch hitting. Montero grounded to first base. Freeman goes to second for one. Back to first. 
in time, and the Braves turn a huge 3-6-1 double play to get out of it. We are headed to the 11th, but now bottom 11, Ian Happ up with two down. He's going to get himself a base hit, and the Cubs are once again going to get the winning run on the board here. So next batter is our Spendy Alcantara, full count runner on the move. That one gets over the glove of Gordon into the gap. The runner was on the move. He's got a chance to score here. Played by McCutcheon. He'll get it in quickly, but it's not going to matter. Happ scores all the way from first, and the Cubs walk off in victory for the second straight night and this series is headed back to Atlanta for a game number five once again the Cubs win in dramatic fashion and really if you're D Gordon playing shortstop you've got to make that player there that is unacceptable we had a couple really bad defensive plays tonight the Jorge Soler letting the ball get by him and right and then Gordon not being able to make that one that hurts but it does not matter because the Cubs have won and we are headed to a fifth and decisive or I should just say a decisive game five in this series. But alright, that is going to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Game 5 will be coming up in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.